Welcome back to Talk of the Town. I'm here with Philippe Cocar, who is the owner of Wolfsheim Winery in Prairie du Sac. Philippe, welcome to the program. Hello. Now, before the break, I mentioned that we'd be talking about wine, but we're really not talking about wine because you guys are opening up a distillery. Am I correct? Yes, you are. And when is that going to open and what's the location? Actually, believe it or not, as cold as it is, they are pouring concrete today and yesterday and it's happening. It's being built right now. As we speak. The grand opening is in August uh, 2015. Very cool. Uh -huh. And what sort of products will uh, you guys offer at the distillery and what makes them unique? Actually, we started with brandy a couple of years ago uh, and we are evolving into more than brandy. Uh, apple brandy, whiskey, rye whiskey, bourbon, um, absinthe, gin. Uh, and our uh, theme is locally grown and locally sourced product. So we already had a corn, wheat, rye planted last year. Uh, to be able to start distilling this coming year. So you guys are actually kind of uh, at least commissioning the growing of the, yeah. the, the materials. And locally, I mean, in Sauk City, in Prairie du Sac, so oh, wow. we, we could say we are at one mile of the winery, we have this product grown on one mile of, uh, onto the east, we have other grains grown. So it's all very locally uh, sourced. Very uh, cool. Very cool. So tell us what are some of the goals that you have for the distillery moving forward? You know, looking at being in the wine business for 45 years and uh, seeing the interest in distilled product, what's happening nationwide, um, we fell in love with the idea of making brandy 20 some years ago. And then um, the law changed in Wisconsin, allowing Wisconsin winery to become distillery as well. So in 2009, we got into uh, brandy distilling. That's when we started the brandy. And seeing the momentum and the interest and knowing that Wisconsin and Minnesota are consuming 50% of Corbett brandy nationwide. Um, and there is a shortage of whiskey on the American market right now. Uh, we felt that it was the right time to start a distillery and go into the distilling business as well as the wine business. Nice. So you guys were making brandy before you even had the distillery. Yeah, we, uh, we became a, a officially a distillery in 2009 mm -hmm. uh, and we have a room set aside at the winery that we have dual usage and actually we are going to be distilling tomorrow morning uh, restarting the steel and distilling brandy. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So I, I want to just talk a little bit because uh, Wallersheim is known for its wine primarily. Everybody has heard of, from this part of the state at least has heard mm -hmm. of uh, Wallersheim winery. Mm -hmm. um, and you were, we were talking a little bit before the segment started about uh, the age of your vines and you have uh, your vines have been uh, around for 42 years I've grown grapes for 42 years. Yeah at the winery we have about 27 acres of grapes we do contract other grapes outside of Wisconsin and as well as in Wisconsin but on site we have 27 acres of grapes and our oldest vineyard which makes this wine the domain reserve uh, quite special uh, the vines are 42 years old and it makes a one of the best wine in the nation, a very unique wine because there's not many of those grapes grown of that age and with a soil of Wisconsin. So it's a, a very special wine. Yeah, and tell us, tell what what is the difference between, why is this 42-year-old uh, uh, vine wine uh, superior to something that's been taken from grapes that have grown on a, a vine that's maybe five or six years old? You know, a, a young vine would have a, a lot of uh, fleshy fruit, very light fruity notes, and a older vine, 20, 30, 50, 70 year old vine, has a lot more concentration in the cluster, deeper flavor, and that's how you get the, the better wines. Yes, mm. very cool. So, Wallersheim Winery is not just a winery anymore. Distillery. Fil distillery as well. Are you going to be changing the name soon to now Wallersheim? It, no, it's going to be Wallersheim Winery and Distillery. Okay. Because we have, you know, the location, the reputation, so it's, it's all good. Very cool. Yeah. Philippe Cocard, thank you so much for joining us today. Check them out, wallersheim.com. They are winery and distillery now. That's all for Talk of the Town. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.